What is up guys, BKRTV, and last week, as you can see, I was playing a Rock Strike playlist, the Vaz Torek, I think how I pronounce it, but I was playing it, and I hadn't played many others other than that, and looking at the things you win, I didn't look in the corner to start with, I noticed, but I did notice, however, that he got a Legendary game. I wasn't that happy about it, because I thought, little unfair, you know, I'm probably going to end up with some rare. Rare engrams, nothing special. And to my surprise, I actually managed to pick up something really, really interesting. Now, for some reason, I decided not to do anything, as you saw. But here we go, the reward screen is now on its way. And it turns out I am one of the luckiest people on the planet because I managed to bag not just any exotic, I managed to pick up the last wood, an exotic hand cannon. Which, from what I've seen and read on other channels, on just other posts, this is a crucible beast, especially on the Xbox side, considering that Hawk Moon isn't out yet. So, what I'm going to do is give you guys a quick overview, some patrol gameplay, and some crucible gameplay. Let's get into that right now. Okay, guys, so here's a quick overview of the last word. Just going to remove the menu. As you can see, aesthetically wise, it's a really nice looking gun. Very plain, it's not stylized like Fawn. You can see it's got some nice etching and what looks like it says either Tex or Vex Mechanica along the side. A little bit, uh, must be some kind of engraving. Looks really nice. Now let's go on to the perks. Fanfire, this weapon can be fired quickly and continuously. Basically, four low though. Also does connect damage, it's not one of these uh, arc void or solar ones, sadly. Okay, you got soft ballistics, smart griff control, and aggressive ballistics. And the first singular perk, hip fire. This weapon has bonus actually while firing from the hip. That's a good thing to have. Say if you're on PVE and you've got a group of four running at you, you're not going to want to aim. You just want to throw those bullets out as fast as you can. And because of fanfire, you can easily do that. First, upgrade damage. And then you've got a single point sling. Switch weapons faster and you can move quicker while aiming. High caliber rounds, oversized rounds, built to stagger targets and leave them reeling. Their mass makes a weapon harder to handle. And perfect balance. This weapon has extremely low recoil, which for me, I'm, I'm a guy who wants stability in their weapon. That's what I'm going for. And then this gun's unique perk, last word, bonus damage and stability, extra precision damage when firing from the hip. So in PvP, for example, Bonus damage and stability going to take your opponents out a lot faster. And if you are firing from the hip, say you ran into a cannon with a shotgun and you ain't got time to aim. If you happen to get a precision hit, it's going to do more damage. And then the last ones are all your upgrade damages, extending that. Obviously you need your exotic shard at the end to fully upgrade the thing. Luckily for me, because I got it as a loot drop rather than a bought item from Zer. I already have the max 331 attack stat, I ain't got a waste of the shard upgrading that. Alright, so I'm quickly going to go into a patrol, show you what the gun looks like, and go there in a second. Okay guys, so I'm now on the Cosmo drone, as you can see, and here is the last word, what it looks like while you're in actual gameplay. And just before I go killing some people, I'm just going to show this gun's two signature animations. These two animations you're about to see are exclusive to the last word. First one is when you equip the weapon. I'm just going to quickly double tap Y as you can see. You twirl the gun around your fingers. Some like old Wild Wild West kind of thing. That works if you've done a melee. That works if you throw a grenade. It's just pretty cool. It just adds something, a bit of uniqueness to the... Okay. I'm going to do, do my thing on the other side leave you to do it but anyhow the other thing is the animation it makes when you physically fire the gun now for example I'm just going to show this with a shotgun because and it's not the exact same but as you can see you just you just shoot the gun if you're using the last word even if you aim or not as you can see there's a special animation where similar to like I said the wild like wild west cowboys your hand that isn't holding the gun pulls back 
on that back mechanism of the gun. I sadly don't know guns that well, so I don't know what you call that. But yeah, and just showing quick fan fire. As you can see, that works the whole way through. I'm just going to kill some people. Now, the thing is, these people, or these enemies, they're about level 2, so they're going to be one-shot kills, providing I aim properly. But it's still, it's still something just to show what it's like to kill with them. Boom. Oh, I missed that one. That is shocking. But anyway. Boom. You see, the gun, it's really ha handles really well, even though I haven't got all the stability updates. Not updates, sorry. Perks. But anyway, that's that in PvE. I'm just going to just stop here and I'm going to show you what it's like in PvP because it's a whole different story in there. Okay guys, so I am now in a game of Clash. Uh, sadly there's no enemy straight away, but I'm, as soon as I can find one, I'll show you what this gun's like. Now, the, what separates the last word in PvE to the last word in PvP is the problem of the finding the balance between fanfire and stability. The reason I say that is as PvE it doesn't really matter because if you don't, if you miss, it's not so bad. But the thing is, with PvP, because it ain't that stable... Where, wait, where am I? Ah, damn it. As I was saying, because it's not as stable right out of the bat, I'll just show quickly here. You're working your way up. If you're going for precision hits, you've got to start almost from the waist of the enemy. If you want to use full wall, though. If you don't want to use full wall, though, I would recommend just going manually. Just keep tapping it. You're probably going to get more likely precision hits. As you can see. There we go. Managed to get that guy. But anyway, as you saw, it's not perfect because I ended up shooting above him. So it's not ideal at the... Sometimes the full... Uh, full auto. But, like I said, once you've got stability down, it is quite a good thing to have. And I'm about to die, aren't I? Nope. I ain't going that way. You're not making me. Jesus. How did I survive that? See, because, because fan fire isn't that great, as you see, I was throwing it everywhere. What did I kill him with? I just got post mortem. I don't even know. I didn't throw anything. Oh, well. Yeah, sorry about the um, PvP gameplay part of this. I ain't that great in the Crucible. So... But hopefully I'm getting the point across. So like I said, once you've got severely down, or you've got at least the last word perk, this gun will be a lot better and it'll be a true beast from like reviews and videos I've seen, for example, more con No way I'm beating an arc later. Maybe like people like more console and other people, which I can't remember off the top of my head, so there's no point making that quote and this stuff but anyway based off that they will say this gun and I agree with them this gun is a can be a beast in the crucible if you can uh, make good of it that, that kill took forever <laughs> to do good I did stick him yes I stuck him So like I said, like you just throwing out a quick little blast, blast there. This gun can can do the job if you know how to aim right with it. And then you contend with people like Fawn who make your screen go green and poisoning and shit. But anyway, I'm going to wrap that up now. There's no point watching the whole gameplay to prove my point. This has been BKR TV. This has been my look at the... Last word, exotic hand cannon. Please like, favorite, subscribe for more Destiny content. And above all, guys, I will catch you next time. See you later.